morning, Centennial students. It's Mr. D with your tips from the TI-15 calculator. I don't know who had this calculator before me, but I know it has words on the screen. My calculator says fix. Can we clear the memory of the calculator? Great question. This is how you clear the calculator. You want to do a mem clear, which stands for memory clear. You simply want to push on, off, and clear at the same time. Let's try it. Great job. I need to round my numbers to the tens place. Can the TI-15 round numbers? Great question. Yes, you can round on the calculator. You want to locate the fix button on the left-hand side of the calculator. Below the fix button are all the place value positions that you can round to. Let's try one. I need to add some fractions. Does this calculator let me enter a fraction? Great question. Yes, you can enter a fraction on the calculator. Let's try the fraction 1 fourth. Press 1, the numerator button, 4. Pretty easy. I'm working with mixed numbers to solve a problem. How do I enter mixed numbers? Great question. Yes, you can enter a mixed number. You will need the unit button. To enter the mixed number 2 and 1 third, let's enter the whole number 2, followed by the unit button. Then enter the fraction 1 third by entering 1, numerator button, 3. Let's try it. Por supuesto, mi profesor quiere mi solución en la, en la forma más simple. My teacher says the same thing. Can we use a calculator to see if the fraction is in simplest form? Great question. Yes, you can simplify a fraction. Enter the fraction and hit SIMP, followed by the equal sign. How can I convert a fraction into a decimal or a decimal into a fraction using the calculator? Great question. Yes, you can convert a fraction into a decimal or a decimal into a fraction. You want to focus on the FD button located in the center top of the calculator. Let's press that now. Exponents always confuse me. Can the TI-15 solve exponents so I can check my work? Solving exponents is a breeze on the TI-15. You want to enter the base, followed by the caret, then the exponent. Let's give it a shot. I always forget the order of operations. I try to remember the phrase, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally to remember the order. Does a calculator know the order of operations? Great question. The order of operations are pre-programmed in the TI-15. Those parentheses are located above the eight and the nine. Let's try to find them now. Sometimes I need a remainder when I complete a long division problem. Can my calculator show a remainder? Great question. Yes, your calculator can show a remainder. Let's use the INT divide feature. I know I need to practice my base effects and addition and subtraction. I hear you. I need to practice my multiplication and division. Can the calculator help me practice my facts? Great question. Practicing your basic facts can be done using the problem solving tool on the TI-15. It's located just below on off. Happy practicing. Stay tuned for more cool tricks with Mr. D.